right, so what's going on guys? My name is CG Build, and welcome back to another video. All right, so in today's video, we are looking at a keyboard. This is the Diaria, Diaria. I'm not sure how to say it. I'm gonna keep calling it Diaria because, Di no, Dyra. That's what I'm gonna keep calling it because I've heard a lot of other people say that, and I'm just gonna keep going with that. So this is the Dyra DK63. Now, everyone's heard of the Royal Clutch or anything like that. Anything RK DK61. Everyone's heard of that, and it is a 60% keyboard. This DK63 is also a 60% keyboard, but it has something that makes it a little bit better, in my opinion. Now, I'll get right into that in just a second. I know these kind of these kind of videos aren't the most interesting, but if you are looking for a mechanical keyboard that is under a certain amount of money, pretty good price, I will say. Actually, no, I'll just say it. it's 50 bucks, dude. This thing is great. <laughs> but they did send me this keyboard. Now, that doesn't affect my opinion. I will tell you how it is. I'm gonna give you the good and the bad and everything in between. But I will ask, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so first, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. As you can see, the box is a black and kind of like a silver text for 50 bucks. I mean, you don't get a high class box, of course, but it is pretty decent. Now you open it up and you get you get a pleasant surprise of the keyboard. We do have the white version here. And if you peel this up, you will see that it has a USB Type-C cable and a uh, white uh, keycap holder, which I thought was really cool because I don't really see white usually. Now let's go ahead and get the keyboard and let's flip it over first so, so we can see the back how it is. So you're greeted with the logo and then the DK63. You also, right underneath that, you see an on and off switch because this keyboard is Bluetooth and I think that's really cool. A Bluetooth keyboard that's like, I mean, 50 bucks, I mean, that's pretty decent. On every four corner, you do see a rubber little piece so it won't slide too much. It is pretty decent and it it's, it's kind of nice. There are no feet, which, I mean, in my opinion, I never use them. I never use the feet anyways. But if you did, then you are going to have to downgrade if you do get this keyboard. Now, I want to go ahead and do a little knock test because this keyboard, it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not as bad as, like, a Razer keyboard or a Corsair keyboard. And I'm sorry to hear squeaking. My dog's right here squeaking on some toys. But anyways, let's do this little knock test. As you can see, it's not as hollow as a lot of the keyboards. It does have a little bit of weight to it. It's nothing like anything like a custom keyboard, but it is. it makes it feel more premium when it does have a little bit more weight to it. Now let's take our focus to the top, and you will see that the USB Type-C is on the left-hand side. That's a big plus for me. I hate when they're in the middle or to the right because if you have a custom keyboard, and you, and, I mean a custom, cord, uh, whoo, a custom cord, you will see that it, I like it. They almost always go to the right. Now you can get other ones but most of them go to the right and it's really annoying when the one's on the left and they have to go to the right and it's just way out here it looks weird man anyway now let's look face down at the keyboard just how how you would if it was in front of you and let's see what this thing looks like as you can tell it does since it is a 60 percent keyboard it does have all the legends everywhere so that when you get function you can do all the different things that a full-size keyboard would but if you gravitate your attention to the right hand side you will see that it does have arrow keys now if you do any type of editing or anything that does involve arrow keys, I mean, that's a big plus. I mean, 60% size with arrow keys, dude, that's like great. Other keyboards have this option, but you have to hit function and then hit the arrow keys. It's kind of annoying. I just want to be able to hit them, and this has that. You are going to see that the shift keys is a little bit smaller, and the question mark key is actually to all the way to the right. Now, it is going to take some time to get used to that, but I'm used to the short shift key. If you see my keyboard, this is a custom keyboard. Uh, from KVD fans, and if you see over here, I'm already used to the the small shift key. So like for me, it's normal, right? I'm used to it. But for a lot of the people, I know that that wouldn't be used to it. But I got I got really used to it really quick. So I think you would too. Now I want to go back to the Bluetooth thing real quick. So like I said, this is Bluetooth, but the lifespan of it, I think it's like a 1900 milliamps battery or something like that. Pretty much what that means is. It's about eight hours. Eight hours of continuously gaming. Now, you can plug it up and it'll charge it. That's great. But, once again, it is only eight hours. It's it's, it's good. I mean, that I, I most people don't game. If they're going to game, they're usually going to be connected. And if they're not gaming, they're usually away, taking the keyboard with you, or something like that. But I think eight hours is pretty decent. It's not the best ever, but it's, it's pretty good. Now, if you want to take it to the front, down in front where you actually see the logo on the front end of the keyboard. Now it's not the logo, it's not the crown, but it is the name of it, Dyra, Diaria, something like that. I'm not, still not sure, I'm so sorry. I just, I'm giving all the options so that you know 
what it could be. <laughs> but you do see the name of the brand right in front. is isn't too bad. I think it actually looks pretty cool. It's not too tacky. Now, if I think, I think if they would have put the crown there, the little crown logo right here, I think it really would have made it weird, honestly. But they didn't, and I'm kind of happy they didn't. Now, in this keyboard, I have brown switches. I did. I asked for red, but they gave me brown, which is fine. I actually think, if you if you know anything about switches or anything like that, tactile is kind of a way to make it sound better without actually, like, lubing and anything like that. So, it, it, nonetheless, it sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty. It sounds really good, actually. Which is way better than normal keyboards. Like, like I said, Razer or Corsair sounds way better than their 60 or 65% keyboards. I know you just heard that. He's squeaking on his duck, man. Look, this is him. Look, look how cute that face is. Hold on. Can't see him because of the ISO. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Ow! Oh, okay, okay, okay. But the switches feel really nice. They're not, like, the most quality thing ever, but they do, they do, they sound a lot better than others. You know what I mean? Like, Razer, Corsair, stuff like that. I know I'm capping on Corsair and Razer, but I'm just saying their keyboards are so expensive with, like, not as good quality as something that's 50 bucks. Now, if you look at their keycaps, their keycaps are uh, ABS. Now, it's weird because they have a coating on top to where they don't feel smooth. They don't feel like the normal ABS keycaps. They actually have some kind of filling on top or something that it makes it feel if you didn't know the difference between ABS and PBT you would think that you could possibly think that these are PBT you should not be worried about like any stains or oils coming from your hands onto this like you would normally one one plus is because it is white but another thing is because it actually like I said that has that little coating on top it makes it feel way better now if you look inside they do have some kind of filling to where there is no audible ping noise you'll see that at the sound test below or at the end but there, there's no ping noise. It actually sounds really good. Once again, Corsair and, Corsair and Razer keyboards do have an audible ping noise. Whenever you press a key, you can hear a ping from like a mile away. But this, that's not too bad. It's like almost none. I think this keyboard would have been probably one of the best keyboards ever if it was hot swappable. Like I said, it's not. But 50 bucks, it is, it is pretty decently priced for what it is. Alright, so I guess now it's time to hear the sound test. So it does have RGB modes and I will be showing some of them off so just enjoy me going through them real quick. So, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I had some fun making this keyboard. Once again, this was kind of sponsored by them because they did send me the keyboard. But everything I said, is they had no influence. It's just a decent keyboard. It's pretty good. Now, would I spend the money on it? Honestly, probably. If I was just getting into custom keyboards, or not custom keyboards. If I was getting into anything mechanical keyboard, I would kind of want to stumble upon this because this is a pretty decent keyboard for 50 bucks. I mean... It's a good entry level keyboard, especially with the Bluetooth, the arrow keys, it's great. But that is the end of the video. Uh, go ahead and 
leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Let me know what you want to see next. But yeah, I think that's the end of the video.